ministry starts and die with your heart. Ministry, blessing others, doesn't go from your brain or from your what you speak, what is inside your heart. When your heart is full of God's burden, when you speak, the burden goes into the people. I don't know. When Sudha was preaching this morning, I was crying in my room. My room was so full of God's presence. When I speak, I speak the truth. I never flatter. I never lift up people without, I don't, just for the sake of that. I don't know, some proud people will not come. Only for VIP, Ezekiel preaching, they will come. Proud. She speaks from her heart. What she preached about miracles, we have seen many times sobbing and crying before us. Where are the miracles? Where are the miracles? Every one of us who preach here, it's our heart. It's our burden. It's our tears. It eats our life. Ministry is not just you prepare and vomit from the pulpit. Whatever we speak here, why it carries weight? Because it comes from your heart, burdened heart. Please understand that. The Bible says, guard your heart, protect your heart with all diligence out of the heart will flow issues of life. Ministry is not just listening to audio and vomiting. It's not reading some books and speaking. It's not putting some concordance and shouting. It's the heart full of God's burden. One of the words for prophecy or prophet is the word Bible. You can see the burden of Habakkuk, the burden of Nineveh, the burden when a prophet comes, when a man of God opens his mouth, he releases God's burden from his heart on the people. Now you understand why our ministry is not flourishing? Why people run to this jungle? Why they run? Why they run? Are we big advertisement people? Are we putting it in the video, audio? Are we sending a team to every place to come? There is no place to sleep. You know how many times people who come here, decent people sleep under the trees for 10 days? You know how many times me and my wife stand through the windows and cry? So many snakes. Why they come here? Is it special food? Special performance? Beautiful singers from the world? What's this attracting? The burden. The Holy Ghost fire. Why people come here? To see a, to see a world famous preacher? What's here? It's God's cry. It's God's burden. It's God's voice. It's God's passion that changes lives. That changes life. Not good points. Modern days, you can click 
and you can get the best preachers preaching and you can preach like your own message singers have their own techniques how to make the whole thousands of people to dance and to shake like this but god looks at the heart god looks at the heart the whole body can dance and shiva shake but how much heart melts that is ministry that is ministry i know how many times my wife cries i know alex how much cries sudha cry i have heard many time she is just a helper she was she wanted to die as a clerk in the baraka god pushed her here wait if i am a prophet you will see many creative miracles will happen through her at that time you will be very sad will you give me a appointment take my word very quickly people talk against that person this person you don't know what is in our hearts god you are heart with all diligence with all carefulness don't try to protect the congregation the more you try to protect the more you will lose in all my life i never feel insecure will my leaders go will people go go <laughs> go anywhere all my people all my leaders i recommend go to that meeting go to this meeting i never fear ayo ayo will they come back to me don't try to protect the people don't try to protect your prestige don't try to protect anything the more you try to protect the more you will lose the bible says protect your heart morning till night be cautious how can i protect my heart my inner man how can i protect it from bitterness from lust from anger from backbiting from from laziness just be cautious about it from you shall flow rivers of living water ministry is not what you speak how you sing how you play music ministry is what goes out of your heart into the people's heart this morning she sudha said ministry in baraka is spirit to spirit that's why life changes can i tell you thousands of testimonies people who attended my one seminar one message has changed their whole life i can tell you thousands of testimonies sometimes my seminar some senior pastors come as the last help if god doesn't meet with me in this seminar i will go and commit suicide you don't know you don't know when they hear one message they run to alex run to my team i didn't tell anybody i wanted to commit suicide after this seminar because everything is broken everything is a failure now i heard one message god spoke to me i will start again how many come you know that do they come to hear your beautiful sermon i know many of you will preach 100 times better than all of us then why god wants his mouth peace god wants your mouth that he can use god wants eyes where he can cry god wants a body that will radiate the glory the presence of the almighty god kotte alaro toro sapa that's why never easily comment about any man of god any women of god wait and watch what's happening 
in Baraka, we are very careful to talk about anybody. Even in my preaching, when I say something, I go to my room and again analyze, did I think about anybody? Sometimes I speak out of holy anger. For example, I say, don't cry mercy have on India. There are genuine, honest, mighty, better than me, men of God do that. I, that's not, I'm not attacking. Old Testament saints were crying and begging to God to have God see a mercy. That revelation, they are faithful. Because in the Old Testament, there is no dominion. They lost it. Every Israelite were a servant to God. They had to plead. They had to beg. But when Jesus came, authority, dominion was restored back to the church. So now in the New Testament, it is you talk like God. You command the demons to vacate. You talk to the principalities of India, demon powers over every nation. You take the rod of authority. That's why I am afraid to talk something. I go to my room and say, Lord, did, will people misunderstand some mighty people because I spoke that word? This is guarding your heart with all diligence. One lustful thought, one negative word, you don't know how it affects us. It's like a, it's like a dust when it falls into the eye. You cannot see. You will excuse tears of ah, ah, like that. It dust in my life, in all of our team. I know that they're, they're trembling. They didn't come here and shout. Of course, the messages they preach, they preach what God gave me. They take my revelation and they speak because they are called to carry on my burden, my vision to my generation. It is God's plan. When he created the plants, and the uh, herbs and uh, all the vegetation, God said, you, God put a seed in every one of the living plants. And he said, let the seed produce after its own kind. Mango seed will produce mango. Coconut seed will produce coconut. Banana seed will produce banana. So when a man of God is called, he puts the seed, that seed go into his team and his people and they produce exactly to the founder, the leader who received God's revelation. That's my desire. When Alex preached, when Sudha preached, when all the team preached, Many times, you know what I feel? <laughs> I told them now, Mommy, you know, ladies, poor ladies, I have very pity for them. They suffer much more than the most suffering man. So love them, have mercy upon them. Don't quickly accuse your wives. Understand their women. She goes through a lot of cycles, lot of problems. You cannot just take it very easy and preach a sermon to a woman. Women, you know, pahatarolo sapa. When she eats, you know, after marriage, for example, she likes whatever she eats, she eats. Till she brings forth children. When the children grow to eat, Mommy cannot eat everything. When she is changing, Mommy, they will put in the mummies then. The mummy will give everything and she will go. My mother had nine children, we are nine. And whatever is cooking, the moment we all eat full stomach. When the mother eats, we all go, Mommy, then we will empty her plate. She will drink water and go. <laughs> 
sometimes I feel every message God gave every time. Alex comes and takes it from my plate. Sudha comes and takes it from my plate. Milton comes and takes it from my plate. And sometimes they eat. I look with a plate. But thank God, a leader must always go in progress. When you stop progressing, your followers will overtake you. Then the pastor becomes insecure. Huh? Huh? Why are you running like this? Don't run faster. Stay behind. He didn't stay behind. He kept on walking. You stood. So I never feel insecure. Many of my messages God gave revelation, they took it. Now I have to find other, other again for go and fill my place. <laughs> In the authority, I wanted to teach on the name of Jesus. My daughter finished. Sometimes when Alex preaches, I say, hey, my jokes, he said it now, what to do? <laughs> now, you know, because they, they grew with me, they were very small children. When Alex was 13 years old, his mother brought him to me. And he said, pray for him. I said, why? He must become like you. <laughs> when Sudha came to my seminar there, you can see in a video, when she was doing her high school, small girl sitting in front of me, looking like <laughs> Now, when she speaks, I cry. Many times, many times, when my leaders are shining, you don't know in my room, I feel so crying because I feel children have rise, risen up much better, higher. Please, pastors, leaders, never feel insecure. You want, if you study 10th, you want your children to become doctors. Then why not you do it in the spiritual? Let your children go higher than you. Our life is short. We don't know when we will go to heaven. When we go to heaven, you want your ministry to die here? If you really love the ministry and God's vision and God's passion, you know how many times I have fasted, Lord, when I come to you, this vision must be carried on. You know that? When I see pastors, when I see leaders so disturbed when the believers shine. Yes, I know your worries. I know your worries. Nowadays, young people just read books and they fast and they become, they call names. They do miracles and they know gimmicks, how to capture the people. Nobody can speak to their life. Nobody can correct them. Nobody can hit them on their head. So they, whatever they read, they keep changing. Six months, one subject. Then another six months, another subject. Then another six months. Then they come to the place. Bible is just a book. There are some words God's word. There are some words God didn't speak. They go, 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 go. Because nobody to correct them. Nobody to watch them. Every man of God must have somebody to correct, to rebuke, to say you are wrong. Can I tell you why Alex Sudha is shining here? God knows my honesty. I have never corrected as I corrected Alex Sudha. When I correct, you don't know how I correct. You cannot stand before me. The Bible says, who can stand before God's anger? That anger will come to me. They could have run away from me many years ago. They stayed. In my life, closest people, when I show love, they are very happy. When I correct, they defend, they speak, they speak back. 
they all lost their anointing. Not anointing, they are not here, there, where they should be. You may say, what blunder these two? These two are extremely innocent and dumb when they came to me. So I have to correct everything. I have to say, this is foolishness. Foolishness will come from the heart and corrupt a person. Vivachar, adultery and foolishness both do the same damage. So I have to correct them. Sometimes Alex will come, Sudha will come after a powerful press preaching. People will be crying and rolling. And when they enter to my room, I will say, today your message was a flop. They say, the whole crowd says, I will say, where you failed, where you missed, where you did, I speak to them. And they change by God's grace. Thank God. I can testify to you, Sudha has taken my correction, even a mild correction, 100%. Now you see the glory. If you read a book, if that book has something missing, in, when you read a book, 90% will be correct. 10% something will be missing there. That can spoil your ministry. But when you have a leader, you can bring that book. Did you see that? A real leader will really correct you. I have people over me. I have corrections to people to correct. More than that, I married a number one mighty woman of God. She will not spare me even if I sleep one point. It's not, I am a boss, everybody listen to me. I have the humility to talk to Alex, Sudha, even Milton, all of them I say, this is what I feel, what do you feel? It's a team! Sorry, I make you to stand long time. You know, that's the problem with bubbling. <laughs> when I come and see, and the words come, and I finish. Because now, all my teachings are stolen. So now I have only one hope. Come and talk. Now Alex says, Sudha says, don't preach Anna, that we will take her. You go and talk. Thank God they are merciful, at least to give me some time in the pulpit. <laughs> That's the last prayer that I want you to pray. That they should not say the whole 10 days blocked and you better rest. <laughs> I live for Jesus. Day after day, I live for Jesus. Let come what may. Everybody lift up your the Holy Spirit. I will obey. I live for Jesus. Day after day, lift up your hand. I live for Jesus. Day after day, I live for Jesus. Day after day, I will obey. Will you obey the voice of the Holy Spirit? Do you know what I speak is directly from the heart of God? It's not from Ezekiel. Do you have that sense to understand? It's the voice of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit. 
I will obey to la basa day after day one more time I live for Jesus day after day for Jesus let come what may Holy Spirit I will obey I live for Jesus day after day can I tell you one of the secrets of Brother Ezekiel Francis? You know him? Yes. I also heard about him. <laughs> one of the secrets of Ezekiel Francis, after walking with God for more than half a century plus plus, I have a ear to hear even from a baby. I never say that preacher is wrong, this book is wrong, without reading it. I don't comment. People comment about me and Baraka, they never attended the meeting. They just hear somebody says, and few words, and they say it's a wrong doctrine, everything. <laughs> That just simply arrogance. You don't know, you, at least to comment, at least come for 10 days fully. So, you know, today morning where Sudha was preaching, I was pricked, I cried. They are my children. I see them as teenage. Because you don't know. God can use anybody. Even a donkey can speak to you for five minutes. Don't say my standard when Ezekiel comes. That's my standard. Not me. You will never shine. Arrogance, pride. In my seminar, people used to say, when Ezekiel now will preach. That means my caliber, my cadder is only his cadder. All of them are. God can speak to anybody. If you have a, the Bible says, he that has ears, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. I have seen people coming here, hearing one message from us, and they go, they, they start, no ministry, they come as a believer, they start churches, and they have 300, 400. And I have seen preachers coming here every time, take notes and vomit, no change. What's the problem? The problem is with a prophet or the problem is with a ear. He that has ear, that means all have ears, only few have hearing ears. I am so sorry, please be seated. I think some of these doors, you have to stand and hear. The Holy Spirit, I will obey. I live for Jesus. My wife says I have to finish within two hours. Dr. Chandra Singh commands I should finish within two hours. Those itself taken half an hour. 
and if I start singing, that will take half an hour. Then what can I do? So maybe we will come to a compromise. Teaching two hours. <laughs> In my early many years of STC, Brother Chandra Singh was there from the day one. Morning I used to preach, three hours, four hours. Evening I used to preach. Think about this thin vessel. Came to Christ when I was 13, 14 years. I didn't feed my teenage body, 20s very well. No reserved energy. Night and day. Ten days, sometimes, if I preach five hours every day, ten days, how many hours? Fifty, sixty hours. Okay, I preach three hours, four hours. I sing in the high pitch. Of course, I was a teenager, twenties, thirties, forties. Okay. And, you know that, I preach revelation. I must hear God before you hear me. I am not a study guy. I am not a researching man. I must hear God. Sometimes it's not very easy. It's a spiritual, a spiritual battle. The devil's number one target for the church is to stop revelation coming to your life. You know the name of Jesus. You studied about it. But why this morning the name, topic stirred you up? Because it became a revelation to one person and to another person. This revelation came to me many years ago. Then who opened, they take it. Please understand pastors, teachers, young men, young women. Your life growth depends not on your prayer, not on hearing messages. Yes, hearing messages also. Not on anything. The more you get new revelation from the Bible, the more you are lifted up higher, higher, higher. Not by begging, not by praying, not by fasting, not by starving. The revelation is heavenly lift. When you get into the revelation and you go to number one floor, two floor, three floor, four floor. Every floor is a new revelation. That revelation is not some new jumping today. The Holy Old Bible, when you are reading in the Spirit, from your Spirit, the teacher Holy Ghost is standing by your side. The old word suddenly become a fresh word. That word keeps changing you. That word lifts you up. Every time I grew up in my Christian life, I grew up just by one single revelation. That doesn't come just by listening, yes, sometime. Or just by reading, yes, sometime. But nothing like your plain Bible. Not even your study Bible. Plain Bible. And with your open heart, asking God, what do you want me to know? Then the word become life. I told you on that day, I laugh when I read Bible. I cry when I read Bible. Sometimes I can't manage. I close my Bible, jump, jump, jump for joy. Then I open my Bible. Bible is God's present voice. Pharisees know the Bible. Sadducees know the Bible, but Pharisee could not see. Sadducee could not see 
that's why he was sad is sad you see god's word is like a like a coconut like a groundnut just reading it the bible says you are in the presence of god idhar udhar nai dekkrudu ivadam avadam nokkrudu illa devam ivadathil undallo matti aralada devam ivadathil maatram undalla ullil vasikkum early days you know early days people used to ask me why you come with your shoes on the pulpit it's the presence of god i said then i should not wear chappal even when i walk through the jungle because god is here i am carrying god what can i do thank god thank god all those revelations are gone now <laughs> now nobody nobody here see when they read bible like a pharisee they see a sub the way you read the bible changes your attitude sometimes i have seen by a real bible good preachers studied much from the bible very proud very arrogant the reason they just bite the coconut and lose tooth all and lose it the coconut must be broken and penetrated and the water you should drink then take the white stuff that is rema word <laughs> i can take authority from the bible a concordance how many authority 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 fine you threw the coconut and they are trying to bite preach take the coconut in your prayer room break it take the uh, take the water put it in your tumbler and remove the remove the edible part then feed your congregation they will grow very fast the holy spirit can i tell you i talk 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 when a prophet talks it's a prophecy when a prophet looks at you it's a prophetic look prophetic finger even pro- prophet spit on you prophetic saliva I tell you this subject yesterday I took you know I can preach for a month even 6 months So what my team and my wife says all the subjects you teach in the studio go to the meeting talk 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 have your tie nice suit talk and cup That's why all the people are with your notebook and pen they don't know what to write <laughs> Your teacher gives points for the notes your prophet give points to the heart The Holy Spirit I will obey I live for Jesus day after day Hamara la la sandala ra ba hatha la ba
everybody say father i can change my life i can change my life i have that authority i have that authority i don't need to ask you to change me i don't need to ask you to change me i can change myself i can change myself the bible says you know repent repent means change your principles change your thoughts change your mind the kingdom of god is nearer at hand at hand mean you can the, the apple is apple is hanging you can just take it so god's authority god's dominion god's victorious power god's creating power is at your reach you can take you can rule then where is the problem you change your mind you know what is our problem change me lord ha uh ha -uh. he change beta you change pitaji change karna hai life is finished you change decide to change your life god has given man to rule god has given man to create when there is nothing you have authority to create you are not called to say this is good this is bad this is good this is bad lord no god says whatever you see watch if it is good or bad god created the light and he divided the darkness from the light god saw it was good he created the firmament and he said he saw what is good if it was not good he will not go to other creation he want to make everything good then he put the star, sun moon stars and he supervised and he said it is good then only one time he saw a uh, man is okay very very intelligent he could name all the birds all the animals <laughs> uh, i brought the elephant this man doesn't talk to her elephant i brought the horse he rided the horse but he is not happy i brought the cat meow he talks meow and he doesn't know what to talk i brought the dog dog ah, ah, and the man is not very happy except my wife nobody is very happy with a dog because i married i started loving dogs our team are with anni so they started loving dogs so god saw hey everything is okay all the cattle all the animal all the flowers all the pot but the man it's not good for man to be alone immediately he waited adam to beg lord <laughs> see me i am alone <laughs> in a married na heaven ha ask all the married people except is it a france and the parent ye jo ho gaya na shaadi karna hai isliye main fasting kar raha hu listen to me if you that the reason god created you is god said we created a beautiful world now we are going to hand over this year to the children of man all heaven we will take care of all the heavens let him take care of let him become my co ruler let him rule the earth 
God is not happy. I am not married. I am not ma-. Some people say, if I am married, I will rule the world. You will never marry. Let the world die. Some people look at me with such an anger. How many days I am praying and fasting? This fellow smash it in one time. My wife never wanted to marry. Her husband never wanted to marry. I was very happy with Jesus. Walking with Jesus. Walking every day. Walking all the way. Walking with Jesus. Walking with Jesus alone. Working for Jesus. Working every day. Working every day. Working with Jesus. Working with Jesus alone. I was working for God. My wife was working for God. She never wanted to marry. I never wanted to marry. But heaven looked at me. He is my core ruler. She is my core ruler. She is very busy in ruling the nation. She is very busy in changing the nation. She is very busy sharing my burden, sharing my work. Then God said, it's not good for man to be alone. Let me create a man. Can I tell you, Adam and Eve never asked one thing. Everything was supplied on the first chapter. Are you listening to me? God created you to rule the world, change the world, reproduce after God kind of people. When you are busy in that, He will supply your food. He will supply your partner. He will take care of your garden. He will do everything. When you wait, when you wait, you will wait, 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 wait and die. Start working for God. Keep yourself busy. Father God, Son God, Holy Spirit God, they had a committee meeting. Come, let us. For creating man, all three brain join together. Let us create man in our own image, our own likeness, our own breath inside. Pahavatira. Hey, hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. God, hey, He created cattle. Yes. Cat, yes. monkey, yes. donkey, yes. pinky, yes. sorry Milton, I wanted to say pig, <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> because Milton wife is pinky, suddenly I said it. I should not hurt him. Habaha. Did he breathe into the horse's nostril? Did he call the elephant and put his mouth? Halasaparasan. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, they created the moon, they created the star, they created the plants. The Holy Spirit was moving. God spoke. Somebody said, God thought. Holy Spirit, Jesus brought. Holy Spirit wrought. So the creation is done by three. But... Before creating a man, three sat together. 
we created everything animal kingdom vegetable kingdom star moon solar system rivers mountain um, a beautiful garden everything we create such a huge world we created but we need somebody exactly like us 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 listen to me you are created in the image of god the father in the image of the lord jesus christ in the image of the holy ghost so when i stand here the trinitarian god i carry when god was creating everything there was a seed in it and he put a seed in mango and he said you produce after your kind and fill the earth the the interesting thing about god he hates emptiness your fridge must be full your garage must be full your house must be full your money purse must be full your bank account must be full your house must be full of your children everything about you must increase everything about you must multiply that's a god you are god every creation speaks about god sun talks about god moon talks about god apple seed see one seed can produce one tree that one tree can produce 100 mangoes and 100 mango seed inside can produce hey one seed can produce a huge forest You understand what I am talking about? Do you see God's character in the creation? What is God's desire? You should not stay alone. When Alex come, Ezekiel comes inside. When the team comes, I am there. When I am gone, there would be thousands of Ezekiel. It's God's It's God's plan. Everybody say anything God creates he wants it to increase he wants it to increase multiply multiply fill fill no he created fish all the sea creatures marine marine a marine creature and you know what he say ho oh, hello marine creatures i have put a seed produce reproduce reproduce you reproduce you produce Don't look at me. You have authority. You have your seed. You have your life that can reproduce. If you don't increase, it's there is a problem. You are not in God's order. When you build a building, it should be full. Within six months, one year, you have to think about the enlargement. then when you when you produce for 500 people very quickly it will be full because you have authority to reproduce you have the seed of god you have the breath of god that will keep increasing it will keep multiplication ha tora pasha hola ba god can do anything any tell me mango seed produce a tree is it difficult for a seed please tell me 
elephant producing or having many baby elephant is a very difficult thing dogs producing after their kind is it very difficult is anything too hard for the dog to multiply and fill the bundi <laughs> It's God's creation. It's God's pattern. Chollunga. If you are really in the pattern of God, your church will increase, 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 multiply, multiply, multiply. Why the life that God breathes or the life that he creates has a capacity, the power and authority to reproduce after its I am fasting and praying for 40 days why pastor for my church growth what happened ulcer grows Forty days you didn't shave, so beard grows. Kani kali sape varya tila thopa. Everything reproduces after its kind, and you know when he created the sea creature, you know what God said: "Hello, sea creatures, multiply, fill the ocean." and he created birds emma god created everything not by begging but by commanding if you stop begging and crying start commanding and demanding nation will change church will change life will change even your body will change many times when i cannot get up from my bed i speak to my body body come with me speak that's god's creation of you you are created exactly like him god didn't say oh fair will you please come no let there be fish hello all sea creature oh wa wa grow mm. increase oh. multiply they said okay jali multiply the government brings planning family planning but they could not control for only church growth we are praying fasting mali vati ani teepete la seta shake hands with one another problem problem not a, is not about <laughs> the hand i am holding you know that hand is the problem kolaba parala rala kaatara nasabara aale paaka tavala katara have they known we have they known we Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Ha la 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 sa ma 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 ma. Make me and mold me after Thy will. While I am waiting, heal the hurts too. Please be seated. It looks like I joke and laugh, but.
But did you get the voice of the Holy Spirit? Did you get the voice of the Holy Spirit? Growth is natural for vegetation, natural for animals, natural for birds. Why not it be natural for God's church, God's people? Increased anointing, multiplying anointing, multiplying ministry, church growing, building growing. Why not? You are created to grow. You are ordained to grow. You have to stop it. If you don't stop it, it will keep growing. Please understand, unless you stop, you will keep growing. I am giving you a very powerful truth. Unless you voluntarily, stubbornly stop, your anointing will grow, your inner man will grow. When your inner man grow, your usefulness will grow, your fruitfulness will grow. Your name and fame will grow. You will grow, 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 grow. If there is, if there is no growth, there is a problem. Did you understand that? People are asking me, Anna, why my ministry didn't grow? What should I do? Pray for me, Anna. What to pray? I know who is the culprit. How to say it openly? <laughs> Thank you, brother. Some people respond to me. <laughs> Very good. Thank you for that whistle. Don't whistle in your church. Then they will make me a whistle. Only here, Kanika Torali Balara, Amarala Hatalala Sara. God looked at all the animals, all the birds, all reproduce exactly like it. Exactly like it. Cat produce cat, and the cat exactly has four legs. One tail and walking, the same color, the same nose, the same voice, the same life, the same food, everything is same. Then Father God looked at Jesus, Jesus looked at the Holy Spirit, all grow family, family, family. The elephant family, horse family, cat family, monkey family, even cockroach family, even frog family, mosquito family grows. Then God had a deep desire. Why not we have a family? <laughs> Is it a good desire or a bad desire? Very good desire? Congratulate him. Very good, very good. Father, you had a desire to have a family. Wow, super, super. Super, super. Jesus. Jesus. You also wanted to have your family. You also wanted to have a family. You want to have, have brothers and sisters. You want to have brothers and sisters. Even you wanted to have your bride. Even you oh, have to have a super, bride. Super, super. Super, super. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You wanted to have your family. You wanted to have a family. I understand. I understand. Everything you created is family. Everything you created is a family. So you got this. So you got that desire. Dear family of God, dear children of God, dear brothers of God, sisters of God, bride of God, family of God, the Bible says in Ephesians 3.14 I read it quick, 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 no time Brother Chandra Singh all this singing time you have to reduce 
and jokes you have to reduce. Only by preaching, I give you guarantee. <laughs> ah, read it. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, ah. from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Ah, everybody say, the whole family. The whole family. In heaven. In heaven. And in earth. In the earth. And earth. Everybody, aha. Uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. God has so big family. God has so big family. Heaven is full. Heaven is full. Garden is full. Garden is full. All over the world. All over the world. Same family. Same family. Some above. Some above. Some below. Some below. Same father. Same father. Same gene. Same gene. Same DNA. Same DNA. Same. Same behavior. Same behavior. Same nature. Same nature. This is the secret of exercising authority. God said in Genesis 1.26, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit had a special meeting. We created the whole world. Now, we need to create our family. What is God's family? God is the king of all the earth. Please listen. He is the God of heaven and earth. This is the Bible truth you have to read. Daniel everywhere it says, The God of heaven rules the whole heaven and the whole earth. Interferes. In the affairs of man and gives authority to whom he chooses. Let me let me quickly, quickly. Ha ha to sapa. According to your capacity, I have to dilute it. That's why, you know. The buffalo milk should not be drunk fully. You have to mix some water. Otherwise, cholesterol. So when I come before my people, I watch you and I pour jokes and I pour song. If I record in my room, no mixing. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Thank you for that big shouting. What to do? Some people, you know, you have to pump. And there is a puncture. It goes out. Again, pump. If there, if there is no puncture, you will be reacting to my message the whole time. Otherwise, I heard the mom. Listen to me. Uh, quickly, quickly, I will finish it. I will go. Um... Daniel 4.32 Luke chapter 4, 5, 6 Read it now, quickly And they shall drive you from men And your dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field They shall make your eat grass like oxen And seven times shall pass over you Until you know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men Everybody say the most high, the most high rules, rules all the kingdom of men. All the kingdom of men. Never lose this revelation. Never lose this revelation. Thank you. It's better to be over enthusiastic. Everybody say, My God. My God. Rules, rules dominate dominate control control he rules he rules he is the most high he is the most 
high. Nobody is higher than him. Nobody is higher than him. He rules. He rules all the kingdom of men. All the kingdom of men. My God. My God. He's the president of America. He's the president of America. President of India. President of India. All the nations. All the nations are under him. All under him. Listen, but you know. God's plan was I am the king of the whole world universe and all the earth all the heaven I give to Adam and Eve to be my core rulers Please understand the day you stop using your authority you become like animal God gives you authority to control everything whatever is not right in the world you have the right to say it's not good for a man to be alone i will make a helper for him the holy spirit told me if my people focus on the purpose of their creation i want them to take control over the whole world not only their family everything when they control i am in charge of their marriage i am in charge of their need why god created it? you know i like it god created the whole world imagine how beautiful the world before the fall would have been it would have been much better similar like heaven but what happened devil came chaos came darkness came many of your lies life god made it like such a beautiful life beautiful ministry he gave you beautiful family he gave you you allowed the devil to enter and you are a chaos god says don't worry i brought you here again to bring you back bring you back to your glory to your glory bring you back restore the anointing and the authority you lost mama ma tarala ha tarala ba to ire pa ha tarala la ra ya child of god should never say once upon a time i was powerful no you have to say every day i am going from glory to doom kahatola basai karabala rakatu please it's not normal it's not normal are you happy yes the holy spirit told me i created sun i created moon i didn't want to create see now if i was god i would have created adam and eve first but god made the earth remove the chaos fill everything because i am going to sixth day my children marriage so everything empty fill it they need a fish pond fish pond the fish what to say call it tank fish tank god wanted to create the ocean as a fish tank for this couple can you imagine how great your god is if you want a fish tank he will bring the whole arabian sea and create millions of sea creature and he will say darling my daughter enjoy god wanted adam and eve to eat as much as they want for these two people not even a baby the whole earth was full of trees and the beautiful uh, the man has a sense of beauty you know you like beauty you like beauty so even that god said every tree i have to create seventh sixth day wedding my son and daughter will be born so all the trees must be 
good for beauty sight all the tree fruit must be sweet and tasty hey god's desire for you is so high god's love is so wonderful god's love is so wonderful god's love is so wonderful oh wonderful so hi you can't get over it can get under it so deep you can get under it so deep can get under it. oh wonderful love. parents you know parents before the children born they want to buy toys god said all the elephants of the entire world let my adam and eve play with man adam and eve will multiply let the children use play with a real horse you give you give a duplicate horse to your children my god gave you a real horse real monkey real donkey and those days monkey and the children will play and they will talk the monkey you give you know at bites it. but god created monkey before the fall the monkey will kiss you know what i want to tell you you are god love is so high he can give the entire world for you to enjoy He always gives you more than what you desire more than what you dream about he wants to make you yangi chow of india he is not the one who limits you are the one who limited are you catching what i am talking about so god created everything ha ha tara sapa everything why he created light my children should not grow up in darkness why he created fruit one day they should not go hungry why is they created fish they must enjoy life jesus said i give life and that life is more abundant life that you may enjoy it that's god's will for human be never forget it never forget it i tell you that in the whole bible my most favorite chapter is genesis 1 2 because that's the beginning that shows me god's big heart for me how much he wants me to, wants to give me not once one benz car everywhere turn one car not one bangla million banglas but you don't run for it that let it run behind you nowadays some people that is the main preaching hey that's not a main preaching it's a tale wherever you go it will behind you the bible says life as uh, uh, psalm 23 my lord is my shepherd say it my god my is lord my shepherd is my shepherd i shall not want i shall not want i lack nothing i lack nothing shout it 
Because my God is my shepherd. Because my God is my shepherd. I have zero lack. I have zero lack. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Mercy. Mercy. And goodness. And goodness. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. Everybody say prosperity. Prosperity. Should follow you. Should follow you. Wherever you go, it will follow you. Wherever you turn, it will follow you. Don't you follow. Let it follow you. You follow the shepherd. The Lord told me in 26, let us create man in our image. Meaning, let them be our family. We three Father, Son and the Holy Ghost. Now we are ruling. Now we need our own family with our own blood, with our own royal family, with our own breath, our own DNA, our own likeness, our own nature. Let, let us be family control, family rule. War is, uh, war is rule. What's wrong about it? When you have a big factory, if you have a son, what would you like to? After me? My son must run. Will you not say it? When you have 100 acres of land, you are getting, you are not, God will never get old. But what will you like? To whom you will like to hand over your whole property? Your son or your daughter? If your daughter is not able to, son-in-law must rule it. What's wrong about it? It's God's heart. He said, let us give. Yesterday I told you, heaven, heavens belong to God. But the earth, he gave it to the children of man. So he gave it to the children. And marriage day, same time two function. One is many function. The marriage day, they opened all the world inauguration. Then, the marriage day was a beautiful wedding ceremony. What was, now what was the food? Mutton biryani. Uh -uh. Fruit. Only after sin came, mutton came. Chicken came. Before that, pure vegetarian. The sixth day celebration, I tell you, nowhere in the world anybody would have celebrated like that. First day, God's family came into existence. First day, God saw mango producing mango, elephant producing elephant, horse producing a ah, ah. First day, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, see, hey, we produce according to our time. Aha, ha, idi adisayam dane, oh, idi unmai dane. Aha, ha, idi adisayam dane, oh, idi unmai dane. Sarva Vallava, Yen Sunda Mana, Save Ventrava, Yen Shivanana, Sarva Vallava, Yen Yachamana, Save Ventrava, Yen Manavala. Ah, Idi Adisayam Dane, Oh, Idi Unmai Dane, Ah, Idi Adisayam Dane. Father Bertman's song, eh? The, the song says, the song says in Tamil, Sarva Vallava Yen Sundamana Almighty God became my family member. Savi Vindrava Yen Jeevanana the one who conquered death, he became my very life. Ah ha ha, idi adisayam dane. 
meaning you all know it adisayam dane it's a wonder na wonder oh idu unmai dane that me it's really true but it's a big surprise aha ha idu adisayam dane oh idu unmai dane aha ha idu adisayam ஆமைதானே <laughs> கண்டுகொண்டே ஒரு புதையல் பெற்றுக்கொண்டே ஒரு பொக்கிஷம் கண்டுகொண்டே ஒரு புதையல் பெற்றுக்கொண்டே ஒரு பொக்கிஷம் இன்றக இயேசுதா என்றாஷா இயேசுதா I have found a hidden treasure. Kandu konde oru pudayal Petru konde oru pokisham I have, I have got a huge, the greatest treasure. Yesuda yen rakshaha, he is my saviour. Yesuda yen raja. இயேசுதா என் ரட்சக இயேசுதா என் ராஜா சர்வ வல்லவ என் சொந்தமான சாவி வென்றவ என் ஜீவனான சர்வ வல்லவ என் யஜமான சாவி வென்றவ என் மனவான் ஆஹா இது அதிசயம் தானே இது உண்மை தானே ஆஹா இது அதிசயம் தானே ஓஹோ இது உண்மை தானே கண்டு கொண்டே ஒரு புதையல் பெற்று கொண்டே ஒரு பொக்கிஷம் கண்டு கொண்டே ஒரு புதையல் பெற்று கொண்டே ஒரு பொக்கிஷம் இசுதா celebration now you are dancing you know on that day sixth day all the angels were invited they brought their kit guitar they brought their 
tumbling they brought their a trumpet they are all gathering first time god the father got his own family family of god first time elephant see one another horse see one another hey we all look like now they go father son holy ghost adam eve they are saved first time when god spoke adam spoke same language both are saying dog mother dog wow puppy dog wow but here father son holy spirit adam eve i saw them all five they they hold their hand and they are singing heavenly song angels understood it they are playing music sandoshamum samadhanamum ennullathil anna is it anything connection with authority i am speaking everything authority i am talking about god's royal ruling reigning family and that day adam and eve married and they had to sign the registration at that time angels are there father signature son signature holy spirit signature adam signature eve signature paralogathil enadu peyar eludi vitta en yesu paralogathil enadu peyar eludi vitta ஃபாதர் காட் சன் காட் ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட் ஆடம் அண்ட் ஈவ் காட்ஸ் ஃபேமிலி ட்ரீ the song say paralogathil enadu peya meaning in heaven my name was written who wrote it my jesus wrote it paralogathil enadu peya eludi vitta en yesu paralogathil enadu peya what the song says the whole aim of my life is to live for jesus please understand animals as a family they do their job they multiply they do their assigned job sun and moon they do their job of ruling the day ruling the night are you listening stars are promptly doing their work shining from the sky giving light to the whole world 
angels are busy with God's work. Fish, animal, plant, everything has one goal, one job to minister to the people. Now God has a family. What is God's plan is man's plan. God cannot have one plan. You cannot have another plan. God has a job. That is your job. God has a purpose that should align with your purpose. You cannot have your plan and God cannot have God's plan. Please understand, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, they said, let us. Are you listening? Let us. Everybody say, let. Please ask me, Father has one plan. Jesus has another plan. Holy Spirit has another plan. All of them have same plan. All of them work together. All of them think together. In that family, man, woman, join. So can you have your own plan? Can you have your own worries? Can you have your own purpose? Can you have your own desire? You know, when you understand it, you will tremble, tremble to have your own plan. In my life, I accepted Jesus when I was 14 or 13. Till today, the only thing I fear, tremble, fear, is I should not do something of my own. That's my fear. Even ministry, I should not start according to my desire. I have to have God's desire. That's why God created man. Let us create man in our image. We three are one. Let people become one. Let us all have one purpose. We, know, we don't need to tell you, all to Jesus I surrender, all to thee I humbly bow. You don't need to give, already God took you. I should not say, Father I surrender. He will say, who waited for your surrender? The day I created, you are for my purpose, for my plan. When you don't capture it, you get caught into problem. When you flow with God's flow, when Father, Son and the Holy Spirit and you and me, we all have same goal of ruling the earth, filling the earth, subduing the enemy, increasing God kind of people, filling the whole earth. That's God's mission. When you fall in line with that, I tell you, God says, if you do my job, I will do everything for you. Everything means, in Hebrew, you can write it, Doris. Everything means, in Hebrew word, everything. Another meaning is, everything. Young girls, never have your own plan. You are created to be like your daddy. You have your family ministry. Focus on that. Your family will take care of your future. As Father, Son and the Holy Spirit are one, you and God became one. When that plan was attacked by the enemy, Jesus came and bring back God's family to God back. That's why Jesus prayed. Jesus prayed the original plan. 
Genesis 1:26 plan Jesus prayed in John chapter 17 verse 21 to 23 read it read it that they all may be one even from 20 i do not pray for this alone but also for those who will be will believe in me through their word uh, listen jesus prayed for apostles are you happy then he prayed for those who will believe jesus through the apostle we are all the family everybody say jesus jesus pray pray for me for me what did he pray next word that they all may be one as you father are in me and i in you and they also may be one in us that the world may believe that you sent me father pray jesus prayed father i pray for those who will believe me through the preaching of others i pray for everybody father and they all may be one as you father father you are one with me i am one with you, you know you are in me i am in you you know same way my family must come back and they must be in us we must be in them we all must be one God's love is so wonderful God's love is so wonderful God's love is so wonderful oh wonderful love If God needs me I can continue tomorrow ah come back to 126 Genesis Then God said Let us make man in our image according to our likeness let them have dominion over the fish of the sea ah now the celebration everybody say when adam and eve when adam and eve were created were created it was a marriage celebration it was a marriage celebration in front of all the angels in front of all the angels the same day the same day adam and eve adam and eve were coronated coronated coronation coronated yes coronated ordained as king and queen of the entire world So God is the king of kings you know he is the ruler of all nations you know so God the father had a big crown Jesus had a big crown holy spirit had a big crown and the angels brought two more crown because because it's a kingly family I tell you the breath that you are breathing is raja wonka breath it's it's a kingly breath everybody said the blood in my life blood in my body the blood in my body is raja blood is a raja blood it's a kingly blood it's a kingly blood it's a dominion blood it's a dominion blood not slavery blood not a slavery blood it's a ruler's blood it's a ruler's blood kanda rada rasa yo katha rala rabahato so the angels came father son and the holy spirit they put coronation adam you are not just my son i make you the king of the world i created for you eve i create you both are king and queen then god said let them male female both of them let them how dominion listen one truth i want to give you god didn't give him authority jesus gave authority and power to the disciples god didn't give them authority he gave them his royal breath when the breath came authority came 
power came purity came god's nature came god's purity came this is the gospel beloved whether you believe it or not your nature is god's nature your inner man your inner man 100% like jesus 100% like father 100% like a holy ghost that's why i always happy naan veru neer verulla naam iruvarum oruvaranu ham dono alak nahi hai abhi hum dono ek aadmi hai when god looks at you he doesn't look at your beard he doesn't look how dirty is your mind he doesn't look at how sickly you are he doesn't look at how bitter you are he directly looks at inner person his breath went into the breath went into the person he will say you are my daughter you are my daughter you are my son same blood same flesh same nature same power this is the foundation of authority when you miss this foundation you will misuse your authority let them have dominion apa what is the purpose of creation say ha huh? why you are creator are you created to rule the demon or you are created to be under the demon you are created to rule the nature or nature will rule you to rule the nature shake yourself no more no more i am not under anybody i am not under any father god father god son god, son god holy ghost god holy ghost god me me we have the same nature we have the same nature we are raja raja ti we raja raja ti raja rani raja rani listen when this revelation come you will not say pray for me anna why the devil is hitting me anna what are you doing hey now this is the time you hit him <laughs> jesus said in my name they hey they shall cast out cast out the devil that's your nature now people are saying anna he is chasing me anna shame ala raja putlayani there is a saying in tamil puli pasithalum pullai tinnadu you understood that mean even if a tiger is hungry the tiger will not eat the grass you are not a tiger you are little god yesterday i said yesterday i said god has created man just little than yellow hey you are born to rule you are born to rule you are not born to bow down to disease to sickness to the flesh to the sin to the devil to anybody you are born to rule ah ha ha idu adisayam dane oh idu unmai dane ah ha ha idu adisayam dane
exactly I started 12. Now it is 2. Maybe 10 minutes before or later, that I don't know. I, I controlled. Listen, we will read it final. 26 to 28. Quickly read it. Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. I want to give you a homework. How did human being had authority over the animal? How did they had authority over birds? How did they exercise authority over the fish? Tomorrow will you tell me? Very good. Ah, next word. So God created man in his own image. See how many times he repeated. Ah. In the image of God, he created him. Uh -huh. Male and female, he created them. Mm. Then God blessed them. God blessed Adam. No, them. And Eve must be assistant. <laughs> blessed them. Huh? You are a pastor. Your Amma is a cook. Trani Sapita Arvalapal. You will bring children, spiritual children, she will only bring you baby for you. He blessed them. On the wedding day, on the coronation day, when they become king and queen, they become groom and bride, Father God, Son God, Holy Spirit God, lifted their hand and blessed them. And God said, Be fruitful. And Every, every animal fruit is fruitful. Every vegetation is fruitful. Now, me, I started producing after our own kind. Come on, Adam and Eve, you are called. I bless you already. Not, I blessed you already. I am not commanding you. I blessed you. Everybody say, it's not a command. It's not a command. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. You will produce. You will produce. God kind of people. God kind of people. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Everybody say, I have. I have. This blessing. This blessing. I have. I have. This reproducing life. In the reproducing life. I will produce. I will produce. Wherever I go. Wherever I go. Exactly like God. Exactly like God. Be fruitful. And multiply and be multiply amen fill, and fill the earth imagine if this promise if this thing was not interrupted by the devil the whole world will be god kind the whole world will be full of god family what a glorious family it would be ah Fill, fill the, the earth, earth and subdue it. Everybody say, when you are fruitful. When you are fruitful. When you start multiplying. When you start multiplying. When you start filling the earth. When you start filling the earth. The enemy will rise up. The enemy will rise up. Subdue him. Subdue him. Everybody say, I have. I have. The blessing. The blessing. Of, of subduing my enemy. Subduing my enemy. Then have dominion over the fish of the sea. Everybody say it. I have. I have. You remember this morning? Yeah. What do I have? What do I give to I you? I give to you. In the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. Now you say, I have. I have. God's dominion. God's dominion. God's dominion. God's dominion. He's a dominating God. He's a dominating God. I am a dominating son. I am a dominating son. He rules everything. He rules everything. I rule everything. I rule everything. I am God. I am God. Our same. Our same. Only He is big. I am small. Imagine, if you have your son, Pastor Prakash's son, daughter, how many daughter? Two daughters. Imagine, if you have your son or daughter, what is the difference between you both? Same life, same image, same blood, same language, 
Only thing is you are Bada, he is Chota. Can I call you Chota God? Is it sin? Is it false teaching? Can I call dog puppy? Is it okay? Uh, horse ba baby? I can call you, no? Can I call you your baby God? S sit right. Mm. Everybody say, my jati. Jati. Parmeshwar ka jati. Parmeshwar ka jati. My family. My family. Parmeshwar ka family. Parmeshwar ka family. My pitaji. My pitaji. Bada raja. Bada raja. Ma chota, my main chota raji raja. Main me chota raja. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the loving things. Uh, next word. And God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be for food. Adam and Eve asked for food? No. Huh? No. Adam asked for your wife? No. Adam asked for your water to the garden? No. He demanded a beautiful garden. No. Tell me, eh? no. when you are blessed and begin to dominate, focus on God's mission in your life. God takes care of your family. He takes care of your marriage. He takes care of your partner. Can you imagine such a beautiful world? God planted a garden for this couple. Hello, everybody say, hey. hey. For, you, for you, God can bring a beautiful Eden garden. God can bring beautiful Eden garden. If you want a husband or wife, if you want a husband or wife, don't say, open your mouth. Don't say, open your mouth. Don't even pray. Don't even pray. Don't even wait. Don't even wait. God wants to give you sleep. God. Allaran <laughs> Sleep. Sleep. How to sleep or not? Deep sleep. <laughs> Deep sleep. You know what our young girls' boys say? That only disturbs my sleep or not. Mati ala randa balati. He gave them deep sleep, meaning you have nothing to do with your partner. I will take care of it. I know it's not good for you to be alone, or I know you it is good for you to be alone. That is my prerogative. Sleep! Hey, close your eyes. Sleep! Then God said, give him sleeping injection. Then, he did the operation. When you find a boy or girl, you will go somewhere. But when God finds a husband or wife, he will take it right here. Exact match! Like Ezekiel Benita. The only thing is, he took my brown rib and made it a white lady. <laughs> that also God can do. When, when Adam woke up, he looks exactly like him, because rib, you know. The partner must be from your rib, not from another rib. There are many people, they delay everywhere they look. Maybe he is my rib. Maybe she is my rib. Maybe she is my rib. Maybe he is my rib. Mati kati ala lata. Lasi dika mara lava. Yama, when doctors do a kidney transplanting, they look for a proper kidney, ma. 
even when the blood transfusion they want to know what is your blood group ma ella solunga hey poi poi yanda rib avadu kondu vandrada don't bring any But other rib <laughs> god made him sleep in my young age god gave me this word ezekiah adam never told me he is alone i said it's not good for him to be alone he was busy in my work ruling in charge of the garden cultivating protecting i said it's not good for man to be alone thank god if there were parents they would have said it's not good for you to be alone so he said it i will see that then god said i gave him sleep i was wondering why lord i can remove the rib without sleep also i am a creator but i don't want this fellow to look at even one hour <laughs> one <laughs> even one eye you know what kind of woman <laughs> hey if you are the family of god the family daddy must find out what is the best see our uh, our brothers leaders you ask them brother chandra singh you ask them babi he asked them how many days they prayed for their babies my husband children sons for daughter for them that's parents job now i say even the parents need not pray there is a father हे हमारे तू जो आसमान में है तेरा नम पाक मान जा तेरी बादशाह एवरीबडी से हे हमारे everybody say appa appa tera naam pak mananja teri palcha do you think your father your family will take care of you will you you are not a natural family you are a royal family he gave them food he knows what to provide you everything he gives is plenty he gave him so much wisdom to rule the entire world he planted a garden then god saw ay 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 the garden you know no rain can't didn't come he created a mist afterwards god planted the garden can you imagine i have a garden my god give, give water irrigation do you understand the concept say it see i can talk about authority from the whole bible i am laying the foundation this will open your eyes oh my family is a royal family i am called to rule i refuse slavery i will not come under anything i am not under i am above then he created a woman he blessed them and when the woman came he looked at it exactly like him but he couldn't say man you know ooh man woman woman means adam eyes opened you know he was so excited ooh man woman when god does something you will be so surprised ooh in 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 hebrew word man is ish women is isha he looked at her ish exactly like me ish ah 
Lisha. Alex, Alex, when you saw your wife first today, did you scream? When I married, you know, or at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, everybody brought the room and all. Very late, we slept. Morning, I woke up without my knowledge. Huh? A creature is roaming, roaming in my room because all my life I was alone. A creature is roaming, roaming in my room. Isha! Woo, man! This is what God will do for you. Stand up. Ola mana sandala. Yo mama maha. Oh Lord my God. Why lie in awesome wonder? Consider all the, the works thy hands has made. I see the star. Lift up your hand and worship him for his plan, for his great plan for your life. Thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art! How great Thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior. Lift up, Lord, your plans are so high. Your love is so great. It's so great. Your creation is so great. Your creation is so great. Your life in me. Your life in me. Your breath in me. Your breath in me. Is so great. Is so great. You made me your family. You made me your family. Your own son and daughter. Your own son and daughter. You made me to rule. You made me to rule. To reign. And rain. Not to be ruled by others. Not to be ruled by others. You made me. You made me. To have dominion. To have dominion. Your dreams. Your dreams. About me. About me. Is so great. Is so great. My soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art, there sings my soul, my Savior God to Thee, how great Thou art. Up your hand, your creation is great. Your creation is great. Your provision for me is great. Your provision for me is great. You made me your family great. You made me your family is great. You created star, moon, living creature, 
that's great you made star moon every living creature that is great you made me a king and queen over the world i get great you made me a king and queen over everything great you take care of my future you will take care of you my future you take care of my marriage you take care of my you marriage you take care of my family you problem you take care of my family problem you take care of my generation you take care of my generation you take care of my financial need you take care of my financial need thank you thank